Okay, well, I'm uh, continuing to work on this project that uh, I showed in my last video where I put the coil in the middle of the rotor and uh, to see if I could uh, get a bigger bang for the buck from the energy going into the wire coil against uh, two, uh, two permanent magnets on either side of it. And I went to a four magnet rotor that uh, seems to do pretty good and I'm still working on the project. Uh, I went to solar power. Uh, this is a solar um, panel out of a solar garden light. And then I'm still using a reed switch. Now I could switch over to an electronic uh, triggering if I want to, I think at this point, and uh, go to a electronic circuit. But I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. I'll show you guys what's going on here. But this is just um, in my kitchen here using the light that's in the kitchen. And it's a needle going down through the middle of that uh, rotor with a magnetic suspension on the top and then going into a little bead on the bottom there to stabilize it somewhat. But uh, let me stop this and I'll show you what it looks like stopped. It's just uh, four magnets on each, each side of that rotor both in repulsion against the uh, coil in the middle here and then it um, gets the energy put into the system through a solar panel and a little capacitor to store the energy and then the uh, LED blinks as the um, reed switch triggers it let me give it a little help here and there it goes um, one of the things that I, I'm curious about this particular situation is when you start adding this stuff up, you end up in a heavier rotor. And then you start entering the bearing issues. And this one actually spun faster, even with this the four magnets, because it was lighter. And so if you go into a lighter rotor, um, I think you can overcome that problem, so you might have to change the materials or do more, more lightning holes and, and make the whole thing lighter. Also, the magnets, um, the size of the magnets, of course, the bigger the magnet, the heavier it gets. So I think probably thinner magnets with a wider diameter might be a better system for this. But anyway, that's where I'm at with this little um, coil-in-the-middle project that uh, I'm... Uh, enjoying. Thanks for watching.